welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a near and octopus party on the metaverse. My name is Lobo Boy. We have ourselves a fantastic list of guests. If you haven't already, make sure you sign the guest address book below. Sign and be like, oh my gosh, Lobito, I thought it was Enzo Washington, but it's actually another dude with the feet on stage. I totally understand. I totally understand. I get that confused a lot. In fact, I started growing out of beer like everyone else. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys know the Tybo guy, Billy Blanks. You know, he, has, he doesn't look anything like me. But when someone says, hey, I think I see a resemblance. I'm like, okay, I'm growing a beard. I'm definitely, I'm definitely growing a beard. I'm good, right? I'm good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> One of the things I realize with people is that we always say we're good, even when we're not. And how are you doing? I'm good. Good? You good? I'm good. No one's ever like, actually, man, I've been going through some stuff. I'm so glad you asked me, you know, I was on my way to the bathroom because there's a lot of crap on my mind. No one says that. I feel like it's one of the things we have to work on is be honest to people. So when people ask me how I'm doing, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Stupendous. Low beat how you doing? I am stellar. All right, but you're kind of at a funeral. Why are you saying that? <laughs> you know? That does it for me for now. Are you guys ready for your first speaker? of the party i don't know where you are morning afternoon and good night it's 6 a.m here in los angeles but we have guest speakers from all over the world our first guest today is the founder of the octopus network he's entered into the crypto space in early 2013 and has been recognized as an important important kol in china since then he's a senior researcher in the field of blockchain technology web 3.0 token economics and crypto asset market ladies and gentlemen please welcome lewis everyone Hello, hello everyone. I'm Luis. Uh, I'm in Beijing, China, and uh, I'm so excited. As a founder, I would like to introduce Oxpus Network here. But today is a relaxed and happy community gathering, I guess. So I want, do not want to be ignoring with hard technology. So the plan is to use non-technical language to illustrate the role of the OCT token in our protocol. We probably know that OCT token is about to start an uh, IDO. We will sell 2.5% total supply of OCT through the Skyward platform. Therefore, explaining the source of value and growth expectation of OCT is just the right time. The economic model of Octopus Network is like a market marketplace. We level a piece of land, construct a giant building, connect in water and electricity, and also take care of the cleaning. Anyone can open a store and do business in the marketplace. So how Oxford Network make money? It, it is, it will rent out security. All the stores, I don't care what business you do, but the security guard must be high from my service. OCT token earn, OCT holder will earn security guard salary and all the utilities, buildings and the cleaning service are free. LPOS also solved the problem of validator controlling the app chain because on-chain governance of the app chain is based on the voting by their native token rather than OCT. Therefore, the decision making of the app chain always proceed from the interest of their own community. For example, if the app chain do not need the current level of security, their community can vote to reduce the block rewards and, the and the save security expense. An app chain can even decide to, to leave Oxford Network and become an independent POS chain. O Oxford Network will provide tools to app chain for leaving the network without hurting the security of the all cost chain asset during this process. The validator of an app chain are not part of the of the community. They are just the security guards from Octopus Network who earn salaries to work. They will sell app chain token to cover their IT and labor costs and not 
me on participate in AppTrain governance. Thank you for listening. I hope my lunching speech, speech can help you know more about Oculus Network and OCT token. And it did not affect everyone's mood for participating in the party. Thank you. All right there, Louis Lou. So I have a question for you coming from the metaverse. Uh, it goes, will the Octopus Network have a metaverse of its own as well? And is it participating in a metaverse? Oh, uh, 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 Octopus Network itself is an infrastructure and it's application neutral. So I do hopefully hope, hope some developer can build a metaverse uh, app chain in our network and we will definitely help them to do that. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is the first ever near an octopus party on the metaverse. And if you're getting rocking and rolling, just a little quick reminder, uh, the Octopus Network is currently selling 2.5% of OCT tokens for Skyward Finance IDO, but let's keep the party going. Uh, our next guest has actually become a friend of mine in all different kinds of spaces. She's a Metaverse DGen and landowner since the first years of Second Life. Y'all remember Second Life? Woo! Former environmental engineer, microbiologist, and IBMer who has co-founded six crypto and blockchain organizations going to run revolutionized hashtag blockchain with hashtag bioinformatics and hashtag blockchain informatics always hashtags from the bio network please welcome this electricity thank you everyone and uh, thank you for attending the first metaverse party of uh, this network and near protocol I'd like to basically talk about a few of the things that led us to basically create uh, Dbio. Um, I, uh, Dbio is of course one of the app chains, uh, some of you already know that. And uh, it's, I think, uh, a very, uh, has huge potential to be more than just like uh, active within the crypto space, but also within the um, spaces that are like, uh, that, that people see. Uh, this this has the potential to actually change a lot of things. Um, we are partners with Kill Protocol. We are also partners with Octopus Network. Um, at the beginning of the year, when we were still on Ethereum, we won several awards. Uh, one was uh, at ETH Denver, the UN Sustainable Development Goals Award. And the other one was the IPFS Bounty for Identity. So um, it's a team that is a hybrid. Uh, I myself, I consider myself a hybrid. I'm very interested in bioinformatics. I've uh, had some bio microbiology experience. Um, and uh, I'm also an ex IDMer. So I came from the enterprise space. And uh, of course I came from the blockchain space as well. Uh, built several blockchain organizations in Indonesia. And uh, a lot of these organizations actually cater to international markets as well. So this is sort of the uh, overview. We're actually going to do IDO really soon on September. And uh, that's that's uh, after Octopus, of course. This is uh, still in the planning stages. And uh, we're hoping to launch on the Octopus Network mainnet uh, in October. Octopus in October. In October, I love the, the synergy there. Once again, please welcome Denny Gauthier. What's going on, sir? So at this time, probably, maybe, you guys are going to hear me. I can't so, wait! Uh, I, I like a, a shout uh, a shout in the chat or a shout some, somewhere if you guys can't hear me in word. Uh, I'm going to start again with presenti presenting what Myriad is uh, from the very top. And at this point, you should even be able to see what Myriad looks like uh, and to see the presentation because I'm going to present it right through OBS because I'm the OBS jockey for um, this uh, this evening or this afternoon or this morning it depends on where you are and I am in control so ha it's a vibe and a half welcome back to near octopus party on the metaverse and my name is Lobo boys and I'm your MC for today's festivities and I want to thank everyone in the real space in the metaverse space for attending today and I got shout out to octopus network octopus guild and near protocol as well as the bio for allowing us the metaverse office building